A milestone is being reached in the recovery of Fukushima Daiichi. For the first time since the accident, spent fuel will be removed from the damaged building and stored in a safer, more secure way in these specially designed containers. Moving the spent fuel out of the damaged reactor building and into safe permanent storage lays the groundwork for moving forward with cleanup and remediation of the damaged building. Getting the damaged reactor building ready for this moment is the result of months of planning and the development of innovative solutions. Although Reactor 4 happened to have been shut down for inspection at the time of the earthquake and no fuel was in the reactor, spent fuel was being stored in pools designed for that purpose. When the reactor building exploded in the events following the Great East Japan earthquake and the tsunami that followed, debris fell into those pools, and the instability of the building made removal of the fuel, ordinarily something that TEPCO has done safely and routinely more than 1,200 times, a challenge. First, we used more than 20 different kinds of specialized equipment to remove all kinds of debris. Some of the smaller pieces of debris will be removed along with the fuel. We also checked for corrosion that might have been caused by the seawater used to cool the reactor, and our inspection showed that the material remained strong enough to be lifted out. We also developed and installed a unique protective cover for the building and stabilized the building to prevent any further damage to the fuel pool and also to protect the safety of the workers. The machinery used for the extraction has also been modified to meet this unique challenge. Fail-safe wiring and redundant braking systems are used, along with sensors to prevent weight overloads and excess stresses. And all the removal equipment has been made strong enough to withstand even the unlikely event of another earthquake as strong as the March 2011 quake. With all these precautions in place, we can move forward with removing the fuel. To remove it, a crane positions a grappling assembly carefully over the fuel and slowly lifts it out of the pool. Once the fuel has been lifted out, it is lowered into special casks. These casks will be sealed and moved to a safe and secure storage underwater location on the Fukushima NPS site. Storing it underwater shields any radiation from escaping and keeping it here on the site avoids any need to transport it on roads or railways. This transfer from one form of underwater storage to another will not lead to any radiation exposure to workers or anyone else. The movement of the fuel to permanent storage will enable us to move to the next phase of the cleanup and safe decommissioning of Reactor 4, a milestone in the process of recovery. It is the product of thousands of hours of hard work by our engineers and other TEPCO employees, and is also the result of the cooperation of international experts from all over the world. We are grateful to all of them. Well, the movement of the uh, spent fuel uh, out of spent fuel pool number four will be a milestone for the cleanup site of the Fukushima site. Well, the engineers uh, were very creative in building a uh, new fuel handling device uh, for the spent fuel number four pool. I think the uh, activities that has been most impressive at uh, Fukushima number four for the spent fuel is the hard work, the dedication, and the creativity that the employees have done to uh, move that spent fuel in a safe, secure fashion. As the cleanup and remediation moves forward, we remain committed to sharing information like this video with you. For more information, please visit www.tepco.co.jp.